want to thank the Motorcycle Mechanics Institute for sponsoring this video. MMI is a school for motorcycle enthusiasts who want to train for a career in the industry. Click the link above for more information. Indian's racing presence on the road racing side of things obviously includes the uh, King of the Baggers series, but we'd be remiss if we totally forgot about the Super Hooligans Championship that Roland Sands is pioneering and pushing through. And their big platform for that series is this, the Indian FDR 1200. Turned into a race bike, a hooligan bike to be specific, it looks like one of these. This is the 2023 uh, Super Hooligan Indian FTR 1200 bike. Indian won the championship in 2022 on the previous version of this bike. You're getting an exclusive here, folks. This is your first look at the 2023 FTR 1200 hooligan bike. Unfortunately, I'm not going to talk about this bike. I'm talking about the 2022 bike. That bike is currently out there on the racetrack here at Chugwalla, but this one is more or less pretty close. So, this will be my point of reference, but this is not the actual bike I rode. To turn one of these into one of these, clearly it takes a lot if you just, you can take a look and see for yourself. There's a big difference between the two. Suspension, brakes, taking off all the street stuff, the exhaust, wheels, electronics, the whole nine yards. You really gotta change a lot to turn one of these into one of these. And what they've done is pretty amazing. You put an exhaust on it, you let the bike breathe like it's supposed to, it totally transforms and that V-twin engine comes to life. It's rowdy, it's cool, it's pissed off, it makes you feel alive. I can't believe that Tyler O'Hara and Jeremy McWilliams and everybody else who raced one of these actually did it. And Tyler won the freaking championship on one of these. It's hard to ride. And why is it hard to ride? There's there's nothing to hang on to. There's nothing to really, it's even more so on the 2022 bike. There's nothing to scooch back and hold yourself in place with. There's nothing for your, for your knees, for your legs to hang on to when you're hanging off the bike. The bars, especially on the uh, 2022 bike, the bars are kind of narrow and flat, so you can't even hang on to that. It, takes a lot of work to hang on to these things and to muscle it and to ride it around like you like you really need to. The other really weird thing for me too was, I'm not sure if you can tell from the video, but there's basically no trail on the front end. That front tire is really nervous and wants to chop and bounce, if you're, especially if you're trolling the brakes mid-corner. That boggles my mind, again, that they rode these bikes as hard as they did because it's really nervous on the front end. And I've been told they're, they're working on, they've, they're continually working on different geometry, triple trees, offsets, all that to get some more rake and trail in the front for some more confidence and some, some more stability. But as far as the engine goes, the thing rips. It just, it just hauls butt. The quick shifter in both directions, up and down, feels awesome. The weird thing is on the 2022 bike, letting off the throttle, it didn't feel like the butterflies were closing enough. There was still some forward surging happening. It's not a bad or a good thing, just something to get used to. But uh, really huge transformation to turn a street bike like this into a race bike like this. And it works better than it should, but there's obviously clear signs of improvement that could be had. And the best thing is the Indian guys, they know. They're aware, they're working on it. They're here today as part of a press junket, but they've also got a bunch of new parts they're testing too. So they don't need me to tell them what their weaknesses are. They clearly know where to improve upon. But looking back as just an experience, pretty freaking cool. Something like this should not perform as well as something like this does. To me, I think it's put excitement back into American road racing. I love sport bikes, as you all know adding the bagger class and now the hooligan class back into the mix to get bikes that shouldn't be on a racetrack on the racetrack and hauling ass. I'm a believer now. It's fun, it's cool, it makes for some great racing, 
And there's something cool about building what should not be a race bike into a race bike and then competing with it and doing well. I like that. So which means I like this. And yeah, that's, that's my quick impressions of the 2022 Indian FTR 1200 hooligan bike. Of course, I gotta go back, clear my head and download my thoughts and make this more coherent. So to read my written version of this quick ride, quick review of the hooligan bike, go over to Mo, get my impressions there, read my thoughts. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. to thank the Motorcycle Mechanics Institute for sponsoring this video. MMI is a school for motorcycle enthusiasts who want to train for a career in the industry. Click the link above for more information.